Uh, Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. Let me put my things through. So. Thank you. I was Thank like, you. what is going on here? We need the energy. See, Hello, Hello everybody. Thank you. Hi. Hey, Dad. Thank you. My whole family's okay. sitting at the front, so if you hear screaming. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do some audience participation. When I say hey, you say disabled. Hey. Disabled. Hey. Disabled. Wow, you actually said it. Shame on every single one of you. <laughs> I'd never Can expected you imagine? to hear this at a TED Talk, hey, to be honest. Mm -mm. Kidding, guys. Disabled isn't a bad word. Honestly, it's just a descriptor, yeah. you guys. Jay, you might have to tell a joke, because I feel like I killed the Yeah, mind. yeah, you, 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 you definitely might. All right, let me think. Um, OK, who is the cleanest person in the entire world? I don't know. You don't know? No. I want to let you know. Yeah. It's Louis Thoreau, because he cleans himself thoroughly. Oh. You see, I told you. <laughs> Man, whatever. Y'all don't deserve me. Yeah, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Hi, I'm Kim. I'm an unapologetically black, African, and Caribbean, British, disabled woman with a wheelchairish case of multiple sclerosis. And this is... Come on. Come on. And I am a Nigerian born British travel blogging spice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thank you now. Thank you. Hey, don't just clap, or we're looking for a husband, okay? <laughs> Um, and Jay has polio, but I would like to say before we carry on, I see how you guys clap for Jay, but it's all good. Anyway, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. If you don't know what polio or multiple sclerosis is, hey, stop, my friend. Google, Google is your friend. Yes, we don't have time. Fair enough. Fair Continue. enough. Okay. <laughs> so Triple Cripples was created by me, the goddess Kim Oliver, and beautiful baby Jay Abdullahi, and the thing that we share, or the identities we share together, is that we're both black disabled women. Honestly, we were just sick and tired of the lack of representation and the unaddressed discrimination that black and non-black people of color face on a day-to-day -day basis. Yes, yeah, so we joined forces to tell Uno about ourselves and change the British landscape into a more progressive, inclusive, diverse one, and less of a racist, sexist, ableist one. Marinating that. Yeah, marinating. Marinating yes, that. Right. Thank you. Yes, marinating right. it. Thank you. Now, actually, our name, Triple Cripples, came about as a tongue-in-cheek yeah. look at our three layers of marginalization through our race, yeah. through our genders, and through our disabilities. Yeah, it's not a reclamation of anything. White people love to hijack and skew a narrative. Yeah, don't get it twisted. Don't be out here saying cripple without preceding it with the word triple. You will get dragged on Twitter. Yeah, and we will like and retweet. Retweet the thing. There you go. Thank you. So let's get some stats out there. Right, so globally, there are actually more disabled women than there are men. Yeah, so that's 23% of women compared to 19% of men. And in terms of ratio, there are more disabled black and non-black people of color that are affected by yeah. disability than their white counterparts. So one in four black British people um, have a disability. And actually, they report a restricted participation in key life areas, so restricted participation, i.e., lower quality of life um, compared to their white counterparts. So in areas like hobbies, education, exercise, leisure. Now, women, ethnic minorities, and people with disabilities are wholly underrepresented by the television industry, especially those of us that are disabled. Yeah, and you see, it gets worse the further you go up the ladder and you start talking about those senior positions. So here's a question for you. Mm. How do women and femmes of color expect to get any representation, let alone fair representation, if they're not even in the rooms making these decisions? So there's an ongoing issue with disability being represented by an all-white majority, despite the world majority being non-white. Now, Triple Cripples is needed because we know the ways in which a lack of representation can have effects on people's lives, such as their emotional well-being, their, <clears throat> excuse me, their mental health, as well as their societal outcomes. It affects them in terms of aspirations, their education, in terms of relationships, health, and employment. 
Yeah, if you don't see me reflected in the world around you, your value and treatment of me will reflect that. So let's put this, we see this in healthcare actually. Yes, yeah. so black women actually are reported to have high, uh, the highest rates of mortality within pregnancy yeah. and childbirth. And we also have later diagnosis with, a, uh, with cardiovascular issues. Mm. Our pains, our symptoms, they're simply not believed. And disability compounds this. So if your symptoms and pain are not believed, imagine how difficult it is to get to the point of diagnosis or even to get access to the treatments or resources you require to manage your disability. And we see how this even affects black women in dating, mm. this lack of representation. So fetishization, high rates of abuse, apathy and negligence when we go missing or are murdered. Now, to go back to dating and relationships, mm. Disabled women are often dehumanized, we are fetishized, and we're reported to be five times more likely to endure and receive sexual violence. Yeah. So now combine disability in dating and relationships with race in dating and relationships with gender. Yeah. It's a mess. And before you ask, like, we have receipts. Yeah, follow man later and it will give you, you know, give you, yeah. Yeah. So now what I'd really like to point out is the power of the media. Mm. Now at no point are you ever explicitly told that vulnerability and disability has a white face. However, whenever you think of disability, it's automatically a white face that pops up. Yeah, and if all the healthcare providers have in their minds is a particular image of who is disabled or who is vulnerable, then their treatment or lack thereof will reflect that as we've both experienced. So to put everything into context, Triple Cripples is about telling the stories of those who remain hidden from view by fire, by force. We're creating a dynamic global community of women, femmes, and non-binary people with disabilities. Yeah. And we're recording a living archive documenting the existence of these non-binary people, women, and femmes. Now, how do we do this? Well, the preservation of stories is a form of recording history. Yeah, the only reason we know about anything from the past or so-called significant people is because someone preserved their story. So by creating this living archive, we're hoping to shift cultural attitudes within the respective communities and of those that are living within these margins. Yeah, providing a resource for those outside of the experience to reference. And transforming outcomes for those that are here right now and for those that are yet to come. We are raising awareness, we are speaking truth, and we are being seen. And very loud. And how do we do this, actually? Mm. Do you know, I think I'm going to tell them. No, don't. No, I'm, I'm joking, not I'm joking. Them? Sorry, oh, okay. guys, sorry. Don't forget, it's professional. Okay. It's yeah. professional. Oh. <laughs> so, we do this through our YouTube videos, actually, where we discuss a range of topics, mm. especially looking through our very unique lenses as disabled black yeah. women. We also host weekly live discussions where we discuss topics that the Triple Cripples community has raised. We do talks like this one, training, and workshops. So, you need us, because we spit up fire, you know? <laughs> and we speak power to our lived experiences and those of folks like us. So, everyone loves a good internet troll, am I right? No. No, well, they're gonna get it anyway. Yes. So, you would think that the crip factor would exempt us from any internet trolling? Nope. No. So we're going to show you uh, three tame, exa tame, tame examples it gets of worse. some reactions to our videos that featured on BBC World Service and AJ+. And they kind of uh, represent why we are needed. So I will start with Arlette, who I think is up there somewhere. So Beautiful Arlette to the left. Why the black the right. part? What that means? Why only blacks? Why? I am so disabled, but I don't understand the statement. Why only blacks? Respectability, Pollock Suzanne interjects with, if the woman in the film above wants to be taken seriously and to be given more respect, she should dress more appropriately and more reserved. Yeah, anyway. So Ricardo says, imagine the oppression if they were also lesbian and Muslim. Well, actually, 
let's move uh, on. Okay, okay, we don't have time, eh? We don't have time. All right, <laughs> so Mohammed comes through with, they don't like their hair, using fake one. Just showing off their legs and boobs. Oh no. The beauty is not that. When you claim you are people of color, <laughs> then be who you are with no extra fake stuff. I like the next one. Our people's got our back. Okay, I'm gonna be Chad because I like Chad. Okay. We like Chad. So Chad says, is he up there? Let's change it so we can see Chad. Where's bad boy Chad? Yes, bad boy Chadwick, Chad. Come through. Come okay, through, so Chad. I bet we can find someone fighting four kinds of discrimination. This world of victimhood is overplayed. Zahain comes through strong. Thank you, white man. You will never have to suffer from any form of discrimination. I suffer plenty of discrimination. I can jump, I can dance, I can rap, yet no one wants to sign me or have me in their BET videos. Well, Trev has something to say to young Chadwick. Chad, do you really need to be on BET to be great though? <laughs> Yeah, flagrant ignorance, misogyny, misogynoir, weird racism, strange white tomfoolery with disability, and BET slander. <gasps> <laughs> now, back to the point. Being a disabled person can be a very isolating experience. Yeah. Being a disabled black person can be even more isolating. Yeah. Cultural and religious taboos surrounding disability can mean that often there is a lot of shame um, restriction and fear. And lack of representation means that often the only black disabled person you know is you. Or in the case of triple cripples, I got another one. Like, yeah. I got a spare. But we had to have triple cripples to find each other. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's right. coming to just destroy the whole thing. Anyway, the whole point is we need to exist now. We need to exist. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> so, for empowerment. Now, for each of us personally, the world has opened up. And Triple Cripples has connected us to a global network and a global community of women, femmes, and non-binary people of all ethnicities. Yeah. You see, if you are making sure that the most vulnerable people are looked after and cared for, seen and loved, everyone else benefits. Exactly. Many of our supporters are actually non-people of color. Yeah. And that in itself is telling. We are needed. Yeah. We are necessary, and by existing, we are telling people that they deserve to be heard, that they have a voice, that they allowed to be seen. We did that with our Nah, I'm Good campaign, where we offered people free swerve cards to help them escape the very uncomfortable and random strangers just coming up to them and asking them about their personal personal questions about their disability and or any mobility aids that they have on them. Yeah, or trying to pray their disability away, which happens Trifling. often. Um, the conversation it sparked um, was jokes and brought comfort, but by sharing and comparing their stories and our bold and public rejection of that just tragic way of treating people, um, many people felt that they were now empowered to resist. Now, the swerve cards that we created were an empowerment tool. They were a talisman of sorts to remind the folks who feel that their personhood has been disregarded or disrespected, that they have the right to resist and take back their power. Yeah, they no longer had to marinate in the violation, right? They very much could give the situation the middle finger. And we, the triple cripples, cosign that ish. Yes, son. Yes. <laughs> Now, we had the absolute honor of being part of an intimate roundtable with the incomparable Mama Angela Davis a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. She assured us all that the efficacy of our activism is recorded or reflected through the lives touched and the fires ignited in our wake. So here are some of the fires that we have ignited in the community we are trying to serve. We'll start off with Miss Diaspora. She jump. says, Oh my God, I want to cry right now. Without sounding daft, I rarely come across many sisters with disabilities. I don't really know any, personally, to speak to. Thank you for speaking on things I've been curious about, but felt weird about asking people in similar situations. So Rawpia Child says, this was an awesome discussion. As a black woman with mental illness, I felt so ignored by the NHS. At one point, I started self-harming. 
as I thought that maybe if I was bleeding or had physical proof of my illness, they would listen to me. Listening to you guys gives me joy and hope. You're inspiring me to fight for the care and help I deserve. Hope 23 Believe That had this to say. I already like you guys. Disability in Ghana, oh my God. My uncle has cerebral palsy. At that time, I was a kid, and I'm very sure my grandma didn't know anything about CP. My uncle couldn't do anything for himself. He was kept in a room until he died. So I like this kind of video that educates people about disability. To me, it's mostly kids with disabilities in my heart. Parents are shy to get them out or even send them to school, like my uncle. I wish I could meet you guys in person. Tinu says, I just discovered these ladies, and it was like going from black and white television to full HD color. So this is why people love podcasts again. They are why love people love YouTube. Jay and Kim, the triple cripples, finally showed me myself on a YouTube screen. And I'm so, star face emoji, and blue heart, purple heart emojis. <laughs> Part of our work is to ensure that the children coming up have seen us and people like us doing, being, laughing, loving, and living out loud. Triple Cripples is for them and for the world to know that we are here. We have always been here. They are here. The world is theirs just as much as it is ours. And more. I'm Kim. And I'm Jay. And, and we are the Triple, triple cripples. cripples. And we're out here increasing visibility and highlighting the narratives of black and non-black women, femmes, and non-binary people of color living with disabilities. We are the change that we want to see. Ours is a message for the global majority. And we intend to travel across the globe being loud and being seen. That is our activism. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Bruv. No, 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 no. There are two of us here. What do you mean? Thank you for coming to our TED Talk. <laughs>